Did you ever try to advertise an affiliate product on a native advertising traffic source like Taboola and Outbrain and it failed? In this video, we will take a look about the three most common issues why your affiliate campaign is not working on native. Hi everyone, my name is Marcel Sattler. I'm the founder of Purple Black, a native advertising only agency. So what we're doing on a daily basis is we run native advertising campaigns on traffic sources like Taboola, Outbrain, Yahoo Gemini, and many, many more. And especially in the past, I did a lot of affiliate campaigns. So I started as an affiliate. So therefore I'm super, super common with affiliate marketing in general. So many years ago, I started as a kid of 17 with affiliate marketing. So I'm very deep in the game of affiliate marketing. We currently also run a few affiliate campaigns, not as much as when I started, of course, because currently we, were, uh, we are focusing more on brand campaigns, but however, we are still spending huge amounts of money into affiliate campaigns. So therefore, I know exactly what I'm talking about when we're talking about affiliate in combination with native ads. And when I talk to people, I saw the three main issues out there or the three most common mistakes people do when they want to start an affiliate campaign on native. So in general, I just want to clarify that native ads and affiliate campaigns could work in great. So they're working usually way better than Facebook ads because you don't have to fight about some account bans, some shadow bans or however you name it when you run Facebook ads. So it's way easier. You can focus on more on the performance part. You don't have to fight with the traffic source about your campaigns, about your fan pages, etc. So when you're in Facebook in combination with affiliate marketing, then you know exactly the pain what I'm talking here about because sooner or later as an affiliate, you will have issues with Facebook. So therefore a lot of people just switching their campaigns one by one to Taboola or Outbrand and that usually completely sucks. So as mentioned before in this video, you will learn the three most important takeaways when you want to start an affiliate campaign on native. Let's start with the first one. So the most common issue is the wrong product. And there are so many things which are important when it comes to a product. So first of all, it's for example, the category or the, the niche with with you want to use. So there are some niches which are working better on native and there are some niches which are don't working as well as expected on native. For example, some very good niches or verticals in general are things like health, for example. So they are working extremely well, same like beauty, just to name a few of them. So first of all, it's important that you have the right category. The second important thing when it comes to the product is the payout because when you have a way too low payout on native, you don't have any option, any possibility to test around, to play around, to test all the different approaches. So it doesn't make sense to start with a payout from eight or nine bucks. Those kind of products are not working. And I saw that a lot of people just searching on Clickbank for some scammy offers and they think, okay, that could be a good fit for native, the payout is 12 bucks and yeah, let's try it on, it's working on Facebook. But that's not an approach usually where you can really earn a lot of money with native ads. So very important here to understand is to have the right category and also to have a high payout. So I cannot tell you exactly which payout you need because it depends always from the country and from the advertising technique you're using and also of course of your knowledge. But I can tell you what's not working and that's some shitty clickbank offers with a payout from five to 10 bucks. That's definitely not worth it trying on native. And another issue here is that it's too niche. So what I mean by that is on native, you don't have a real working targeting option like you have on Facebook. So on Facebook, I can use interest-based targeting. They can use demographic targeting and therefore I can very precisely target the audience which I want to reach. That's not possible with native. Therefore, you need a very broad product approach. So what I mean by that is you're not able to narrow it completely down and you need a product or service which could be a very good fit for a lot of people out there and not just for a small part of it. So on Facebook, usually it's possible when this is Facebook as, as an audience in general, 
then you're usually um, able to target exactly this small audience here. In a native, that's not possible, but of course you're not able to target here the whole internet, but you have to target a little bit a higher volume of people here to really crack down the code here on native ads. So in a nutshell, when you have the wrong product, it's not possible to scale up a campaign on native profitably. And you have to have a very good product feeling and a very good understanding what's working on native and what's not. All right, let's jump to the next point, to the second most common issue, what we are seeing um, with affiliate campaigns, and that's the wrong pain points. So usually people are just creating on Facebook an ad which shows the product and the ad tells, hey, that's a great product. So sometimes it's some simple video ads which are made from the smartphone. Sometimes it's just static image ads. And they usually just tell, hey, that's the product, it does this and it's working on Facebook. But that's not the approach which you can use on, on native because of course there are some low hanging fruits. So there might be a small audience, the low hanging fruits, which you can just show the product and they will buy it because it's a very good offer. But unfortunately, the big opportunities, which are not the low hanging fruits, you're not able to convince them to convert them when you are not facing the pain points correctly. So you have to find very strong pain points. So you have to know exactly the audience, you have to face the audience, you have to understand the issues of the audience, and you must be able to create stunning headlines and a stunning copy with exactly the pain points of the audience. And sometimes when you try to find out the pain points, there are a lot of sources which could help you. For example, you can just, when you know the product, you can just, um, let's say you have a product against like, knee pain. Of course you can face the main issue knee pain, but you can also find some sub niches here just by going to Amazon and read some book reviews because that's exactly the audience here. And when you read those book reviews, you see exactly which words, which language the audience is using. And you can, you can find out some other issues which are additionally to the, to the, um, to the topic of knee pain, like for example, osteoporosis or something completely differently. But it's definitely worth it to, to understand the audience, to speak the language of the audience and to know what's the pain points and what the audience want to solve. It's just important that you don't try to make some big claims which are too good to be true. So like lose 10 kilo in just 72 hours. So that's not possible. That's not just would be declined from the traffic sources, but that's also not very trustworthy for prospects you're trying to reach out because they think, okay, that that's a scam. I don't will buy it. So therefore also when your product does a great job and a lot of products really, really uh, does it, but it's super important to not just bang the big headline, hey, this product solves all your issues. No, it's important to let the persons understand uh, why is this product working as well as expected. So why it is not a scam, a lot of trust, etc. By the way, one tip here, please try to create your own advertorials with your own copy and host those advertorials on your end, like ClickFunnels, Elementor, whatever you, you want to use. But please don't try to use the advertorials which are provided from the vendors, because usually every beginner is trying to just use them one by one, don't adapt it and the audience already know these advertorials. So therefore I highly recommend you to use your own advertorials, also if it is more work in the very beginning, but usually the results will be better and you, you automatically will get a better feeling about the audience and know exactly what you're talking about, which you can use in the ads and which you can use also for some further creations of the advertorial. All right, let's come to the last but not least point when we're talking about the most common problems and it's the wrong funnel. I already told you it's important to use advertorials. I think that's, that's pretty clear. But what I mean by the wrong funnel is when you, and that's pr pretty common. So when you have a funnel and you have a headline here with a promise and then the person is coming to the advertorial, I just uh, named it ADV, um, and the headline says A and the advertorial says C. So it's not really, it, it, it's, it's not a good fit. 
So that's a very, very common issue, which a lot of people does. So what you promise here in the headline must be visible on the first view in the editorial that people understand, okay, that's exactly the, the article I want to read. So that's, that's the first thing. Another important thing is to use an editorial. So the funnel is headline or ad. Then you have the editorial. And just then you have the offer page. And here, hopefully, you have the sale. So that's the way how it should work. And of course, it's super important to test different headlines. So for example, to test nine different ads, which means free headlines and free images. And of course, it's also important to test different advertorials. So not just using one advertorial and, and uh, hope that it's working because it's usually not working. So it's important to test at least three to, three to five different advertorials. And yes, if you have lower budget, three are fair enough. Um, and you usually don't, or you need more time to test every advertorial. Um, to see some data-driven results here. But please never ever do the mistake and just start with one advertorial. And then people are wondering why it's not working because maybe the advertorial is not working. So maybe the advertorial is not really pinpoint the pain issues. It's like, it's like an aircraft. So when you fly from, let's say from Madrid to, to New York and the pilot just changed the course in the very beginning of the flight for just one degree, which is, nothing on a big aircraft. But if the pilot just make the mistake and um, change, the, change the course for just one degree, they will not land in New York. I can guarantee you that. And here it's the same. So maybe just one or two things are not working on the advertorial as good as expected. And then it's not working. But unfortunately, then the whole funnel, the whole product, the whole approach is not working. Therefore, you have to test out different advertorials, different approaches in the advertorials and try to crack the code here because you don't understand the audience yet. You need data to make data-driven decisions. So for example, when you have, let's jump back to the, to the knee issue. You have knee pain, which is the angle one. Then you have um, osteoporosis, which is the angle two. And then you have w one or two different, different things. So you have three different approaches. And in the very beginning, you don't know which approach is working. So maybe all three are working, but maybe this approach isn't working and that's working the best. And this is just mediocre. So that could be definitely the case. But in this case, it's super important to understand, okay, why is this working best? And to create lookalikes from this advertorial. So you create more of these advertorials with exactly this angle. That's super important to understand the data and to make the right data-driven decisions here. That's the three most common issues, mistakes, when people starting with affiliate campaigns or affiliate products on native advertising traffic sources like Taboola and Outbrain. I hope this video helps you and helps you, of course, to get better results with your affiliate campaigns. If you liked this video, I would extremely appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. And of course, when you subscribe to my channel, because I just produce content for nothing but native. So when you want to learn more about Taboola, Outbrain, Gemini, some other hacks in the native advertising game, then please ensure that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good one. See you next time.